Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to learn about the passive voice. In this video, we'll focus on the past continuous tense. Don't forget to say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And now, let's get started. As usual, we'll see a picture first. Look at the picture. In this picture, we have Z and Sofia. What were they doing in the picture? Yeah, you are right. They were making some cakes. Z and Sofia were making some cakes. From this sentence, we understand that Z and Sofia are the doers of the action, while some cakes are the receiver of the action. When the doer of the action takes the position as the subject of the sentence, then we can say that this sentence is an active voice. Remember, not all active voice can be changed into a passive voice. Only the one with an object can be converted into a passive voice. Do you think you know the object of the sentence? Yeah, the object of the sentence is the receiver. So we can conclude that the sentence can be changed into its passive voice. To change a sentence into its passive voice, we have to put the receiver at the beginning of the sentence. So, we type some cakes here. After that, we write down was or were. This phrase is in the plural form, so we have to use were. Next, just add being, which is then followed by the past participle of the verb, made. Finally, you can add the by phrase, which tells who the doer is. So the sentence becomes, some cakes were being made by Z and Sophia. Changing a sentence into its passive voice is easy, isn't it? Now let's try another example. Look at the picture. Teacher Aida was reading a story. Can you identify the doer? Yeah, the doer is Teacher Aida. And it's clear here that the receiver is a story. Now let's change this sentence into its passive voice. Remember to start with the receiver. A story. Then, was and were. A story is a singular form, so we have to use was. Then, just write down being. Next, write down the past participle of the verb read. It is read. Finally, write down the by phrase. By teacher Ida. Congratulations! You've changed the sentence into its passive voice. Now, do this exercise. Don't forget to write down your answer in the comment section. Well, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you really enjoy my video. Inshallah, I'll see you again in the next video with of course different topic. Wassalamualaikum.